Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brewery de Mollen and it's a bottle of the Alive and Kicking IPA-ish strong beer coming in at 6.2% ABV. There's the label. There's that Brewery de Mollen logo there. If you want to quickly read through that and pause the video, please do so now. But otherwise, on with the review. Here's a bottle cap. Woohoo! Nice kind of lively opener there. It's quite lively. Nice big four fingers of slightly off white frothy fire extinguisher type head but look at that beer that is a crystal clear amber coloured ale with lovely carbonation streaming from the bottom of the glass let's get the aroma then and alive and kicking by brewery de Mollen. Oh my my, oh yeah, is it alive and kicking? It sure is, blimey. I, I almost wish I didn't have that head because I think it would take my head off. So in some ways the head there is, is keeping, me, keeping me safe. But even with that great big four fingers of head, the aroma is punching its way through. Lovely fruity, American style hops. There's loads of Amarillo in here. I can really get it. Big punching Amarillo kick of, of them, that fruit bowl, pale stone fruit you get. I'm going to dive into this. It smells wonderful. Ooh. Oh yes, 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 that is such a fruity beer, that is such a wonderfully, mmm, that is so good, it's so well constructed, it's lovely and sweet, it's lovely and bitter, it's got great balance. Oh, that head. I need, I'm all, almost tempted to get my fingers in it and get rid of that head just to experience that aroma. It's teasing me. But flavor wise, grapefruit, mango, a bit of lemon, bit of lime. There's all sorts going on with this beer. But the sweetness from the malt just gives that beer another edge, another quality. It's the balance that I'm really enjoying. It's really kind of, it's sweet. Then the hops and the malt, the hops, the bitterness and the sweetness in the middle have a bit of a fight. And then the, the hops and the, the bitterness on the back end pull through with a little kick of that sweetness on the honest way to becoming this massive bitterness. Just saying one last pop, you know, one last little fling. It's, oh, it's so good. It's so, so good. Had some great beers from Brewery de Mollen, I really have over the years. But smoked beers, IPAs, Imperial Stouts, Imperial Porters, Porters. Um, they're Amarillo, I think they brewed an Amarillo. De Mollen Amarillo? 
believe Centennial, they, they brewed some great beers. Even their table beer was pretty good. They're a great brewery. They're from, they're from Holland. They're, they're a Dutch brewery. And this is their IPA-ish, Alive and Kicking. I've given you the flavours, I've given you the sweetness, I've given you that lovely kind of hoppy bitterness on the back end with all that lovely fruit. So I'm going to go ahead and rate it. Cheers. One more thing, what I didn't do, I didn't give you the mouthfeel. Now the mouthfeel on this is, it's drinkable, but as with any American style IPA, with all of them hops added, it, it's got that hop resin, that, that sticky hoppy, plus with that malty kind of, that sweet malty, resiny feel, the stickiness. It's drinkable. It's refreshing. But it gives you that nice stickiness that you want. So, rating. That is a great, great beer. Again, as with the previous review, I've not stood here stoning the crows and, 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 and going crazy. I should be. Perhaps it's just my mood tonight. But it's, nonetheless, mood or not, this is a 10 out of 10 beer. Absolutely fantastic. Brewery de Mollen, alive and kicking. Please check that out. It's fantastic. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.